في تعلم العلم الجاهل أصلاً يوجد شرح الحق رحمة واحد لغة من كندا وهو يوافع أخورا إلى هذا الشرح دورتا وقت عرفت أبرتا أفر هو عجيبة أيوة وقالت إذا مكان الله بديه وهيدي يلا إنت بضلنا حيث سالك مفليش وحل إذا هيك نديف إذا عندي إذا أقوات التابعة إلى كيسة لا بدي دون دبي شركات لا يدعو هاي بالكونس وشكتها ودما لا بدي يسوي لها لغو قوي هيا هو طالع لا بدي دبو بون دبي بدون صوب حياة سمر كبير كانوا صوب حياة سمر كواحد لا دير بلاك تشاي عروس خد بدو بلا هذا سمر كاس يا أبو مايك أنت كذا مكان أنت كذا ما بيعرف تقول ما تقول دير كذي ليس واحد لا ده يعني هو حتى هيكو برأو كل ما حلو كيا كذي بدي صوب حياة فيش صار من تمر مرا عبر نوع هذا دير بس من تشاي عروس مستقيم بلا هذا إني بعد سؤال ذو دي واحد هنا كفارة وكم صوان هذا هذا يو كلدي أنا أي شاب سنة كان ما باي مصر حيران كان ما باي دبي سكة ما كان رنتي وحاول دير القرآن لماذا إن أي محادرو يسميس سوشيال ميديا هذا ضرنا كذا حيران وصوماله من دبي شو ذا ويدي لي يقول أقول له ما نسى وقت ما نوادا سماه كتا ما كان يطبع في جريس القارش ما كان يكيد على الله هذا شوال أنا بالعرض راح مو حنس كفارة من سوشيال ميديا وأنا ولا حيل يبني لا وقفوا بقى في خدمة دايمًا كلا شقي ويجدر يعني دين يكون ديبتو أفي سويش في سومالي من بتشوفه جماعة سويش في تك سومالي كاي سويش كأنه سومالي من بتشوفه وأنا ولا كأنه كلا شقي يبني تدرب يجارين في واحد كأنه دين تجاه إم سعس إن أفر عمره كنت ما دي حاجة كذي ويجدر يعني بيرك وكذا مو سوال أي عبا يدير سي قلنا دري من توي توا ده وطلع صوت Kau tiba kaya, tak suka hina tu saya sah. Kali ni ini kerana masyuliat, ini tak kaya logat tu. Ada ada kerana hisap lu hawi ini, ini tu kerana kita nak tarik kali. Ini suka hidup keran, suka bawa kapsan keran. Mula bawa bintik, bawa bawa hisap ini saya suka minum. Kau mahu kita ni nak kerana hidup kita ini, tapi kita nak apa nak? Mula bawa kerana kita nak memberani rahmat Allah dalam doa. Kau aku kau tu, semua. Maka insya Allah, apa yang saya kau resam dalam kita akan lakukan terhadap diri kita untuk diri kita untuk rahmat Allah itu adalah bukan hanya itu, itu adalah ciri, itu sifat. Habislah yang nanti kita akan lakukan dalam asas. Maka rahmat Allah resam dalam waktu yang mudah untuk ia kaya untuk berada di tempat yang tidak ada yang sama. Iman tu wajib untuk diri kita. Ia di mana kalau saya berada di tempat yang tidak ada yang sama. Iman tu wajib untuk diri kita. 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 وحاول الحين يصد المريض أنت يوصل كل سعودية بريد واحد هو قرية نادا نايم في الشيستا كله كده منا في سكتنا ما كان رنتي عروتي نجتنا عرق كله هلا هذا بهم يدور قبا رحمة إن شاء الله إن شاء الله وبسنا يا مير أسمار حتى مش كنت أنا بعرف السلام عليكم أفضل من سنتين سالي كسر ويسيان إن أشلون موسى شيء يقرا عليها هذا ويروح على المستيل بكل هاك الايميل حبيبتها يقول عليه. قعد بعد اوفر احسن هاي هنا اللي كان اللي ما تقريبا اللي تشوفه وبوكي يجي يقول لي انا انا في انجليزي كوكورين ماركا هنا ماركا شغل واحد واخري ان الصومالي افكي هو يدي هنا ماركي ماركا بوكا عن كوكوريو. موسى يقول لي لاست ويك بيقول لي بوكا الصومالي ما تكوكوري دون تاي بل ده صوت كرة بركة سبيانية وعيال أيو ما بيجي إيه أخيري وجي بركة وكسر دالي الحمد لله وكسر أخيري بركة رح أدوم إلى تهاي بركة إلى المعطى إلى تشوقه إلى
marka ilmaha yar marka uu ka akhriyo inuu xiiseeyo marka uu akhriyo oo iska dhax arko sawirada buuka uu karto dhaqankiisa qof tukanaya qof magaciisa leh marka marka uu tago ee iskoolada iyaga ka aabay ugu farxanay raadaa oo hooyaday xamina la yira walaalkay kelmada maalay ee marka ma la yira marka waxyaalahaas uu yar yar oo inaga wax weyn iyaga wax weyn bay u tahay ee marka ka arka insha Allah anu wax ka sabab daaliya marka ee waad maqsad tahay ee waxa ku sii mudan inay yadoo yeesho marka ay tadaba jeeb aan markaa tadaba jeeb ka hay markii la ka hay markii ay aad u maqsad tahay oo geeda ama suuji ka soo qaadi ku jiray waxa weeyada ay ku mashquulaan meerash ay rabtay inay kaxayso iibis ma kaayta ku riite kaan yara yar bay suuq la wareysan ay iibsan ka saaray hadii weeyada waxa dib u dhibo hooyo aad bay mashquul yahay qaatay marka dib la kiis waxa arkay say muhiim ah walaal baan marka arur badana marka ilma yar ku soo kordho qoyska inta waalid tii garo ay qoyska sax waad maqsan tahay thank you so much ni rahma welcome to sweden we are so happy to welcome you to stockholm my first question is tell us more about your self and your choice to become an inspired inspiration of okay okay so um my name is uh, rahma roda so my my first name is rahma my middle name is rahma roda so i write under the pen name of rahma roda um i am a, a mother of four um i came to canada at the age of seven and i only decided to become an author later on in life um because I am the oldest of seven children and when my parents came to Canada it was very important for me to study something that made sense to them um becoming a writer didn't make sense to them they wanted you to yeah. become an author and they wanted you to become a lawyer a doctor something that they could understand becoming an artist becoming a writer it didn't make sense So I went to university. I uh, graduated in, in, with an international business degree. I got a government job. Um, I got married. I had children, and then I started thinking, "Is this it? Is this that's it? Now I wait for retirement." And I knew that I wanted to do something more. So when my daughter was four years old, she started. Um, watching I don't know if the movie is popular here uh Elsa Frozen so she wanted to have long blonde hair and blue eyes and she started telling me you know I'm not beautiful because um I I don't have blue eyes and blonde hair and it reminded me of when I came to Canada and I didn't see myself anywhere and so that's the reason why I said you know it's really important how is it that my child who is born in Canada is also suffering from the same things that I was suffering from decades ago and and so that's why I realized that um representation is very important in in all aspects in books in 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 uh in uh, uh, uh gatherings in television in all of the sphere of representation is very important So that's when I started to write books and do some publishing for the representation of uh black muslim children in uh, North America but throughout the world honestly um being muslim and being black it's a very uh, distinct intersection that requires its own work because not only are you black but you're also muslim and as a woman who also veils and who is uh visibly muslim i think it's very important to uh work in that sphere to make sure that there's representation for that so okay how many books have you written Oh, okay. So the book he translated, um, "Little Brother for Sale," um, is my second book. My first book was uh, "Mahima's Quest," 
it's about a little girl who's a, um, a Somali little girl whose family doesn't celebrate birthdays. And then she's like, I want to have a birthday party. I want to do the same things my friends are doing. And her family tells her, we don't celebrate birthdays, but this is our, what we do in our culture. Little Brother for Sale was my second book. My third book was uh, Dear Black Child. Inshallah, in February uh, 2024, uh, Dear Muslim Child is coming. And inshallah, much more to come. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, the Little Brothers for Sale, uh, that's a really good book. And now we are both in English and Swedish and even in Somali. Yes. Uh, how have you got the inspiration to write this history? It's a, it's a funny story. So when I had my daughter, um, and then I gave birth to my son, she said, um, I'm not, I don't like this little boy. I want to have, uh, I want to sell him to somebody. And so we started joking and I said, okay, how would we sell him? How would we do that? So through that conversation and through that, uh, what I thought at the time was just a funny conversation, um, the idea came and every time I read it to different schools, children can understand how, yes, I wanted to sell. I'm the oldest of seven wanted to sell all of them. Um, so it's something very relatable for children. And so that's how the, the story came. So I like to tell people that the inspiration came from my daughter. I wrote it with my daughter and she's very um, she's very proud but now she says please stop telling people that because I don't want to sell my brother anymore. <laughs> You have written four books. Uh, what what is the main aim in terms of the only choose for you are writing? Yes. So the, the main themes that I want to uh, represent is positive representation of Black Muslim children, specifically other cultures that are the Somali culture. So this book that came out is called uh, Dear Muslim Child, but there is a spread here in this book where there's a Somali uh, a family that's depicted. So I was very happy that the illustrator chose to represent Somali uh, culture in this one. When you get a publisher, you don't get to choose the illustrator. So the illustrator contacted me and said, I want to showcase a Somali family. So Alhamdulillah, that was shown in this book, but always my, my, um, my, uh, my hope is to have a positive representation of black Muslim children, specifically African children, to include culture aspect, to include celebrations that are our own, to include our cultures, our language, uh, all the aspects of, of us in a positive way so that people can learn from that and our children can see themselves in, in that aspect also. Thank you. Uh, do you. Did you always want to be a writer? Uh, Maybe, maybe yeah. for the childhood? I, I always wanted to write, but uh, when I came to Canada, um, I was educated in, uh, in French. So we learned French first because of where we immigrated in Quebec, and, and that's a, um, a province where they speak French. Um, I would write a lot of stories. I, you know, my mom is a very big uh, storyteller. Uh, a lot of Kabayal and a lot of songs, a lot of things. So I, would, I started writing stories, but the teachers would always focus on your mistakes. The grammar is not good. Your story doesn't make sense. So all the time I, I used to get discouraged because I believe that as Somalis, we all are, we are oral storytellers. We are all poets, we are all writers. We, we have the artistic side in us, in our blood, in our DNA. We do so many things so effortlessly it is within us. So I would write, I would love to write stories, but every time a teacher would say, you're not writing properly, you're not, you're not uh, paying attention to the structure. So it would discourage me a lot, but always I have always loved writing stories, telling stories, listening to stories. Um, so it was always part of me. And even though I didn't, if I could go back and study something in university, I would study uh, storytelling and, and being uh, a writer. Uh, unfortunately, not something that made sense to my parents. 
But now, as my children are growing into, I try to listen to the gifts that God gave them. Are they good at telling stories? Are they, are, are they writers? Uh, I, my oldest daughter, she likes to illustrate. So I put her in art classes. I try to encourage the things that she's good at because I think it's important not to just uh, encourage your children in the things that you want them to do, but also encourage them in the things that they are good at, the things that God gave them that would bring them joy, that would bring them happiness. I think that is very important. So I try to encourage my daughter to tell her, yes, if she wants to illustrate, but how can we put that in maybe something else also? So at this time, we're thinking of doing, you know, uh, she wants to be a, a therapist that helps people doing art therapy. So that way she can use her artistic side, but she can also do another career. So uh, those are the things that I try to uh, help my children discover their gifts, but also try to channel that into also something that's going to help society. So. Okay. Uh, what have you found to be the most challenging about children's books? Um, the most challenging about picture books, people think that picture books are easy to write, that it's uh, anyone can write it. But it is one of the most difficult uh, pieces of writing that you can do. Because you are writing for many people, you are writing for the parents, for them to see something, you are writing for the children, you are writing, uh, the, the images have to also have a story for the children that cannot read. Um, the, the story has to make sense on many levels. So picture books are something that are very hard to do. You have very few words, but you have to say so much with so little words. So it is a lot more difficult than people think it is, um, but it is very rewarding because you are, uh, you know, influencing the young mind, and you are also, picture books are also not only for kids, but for every, everyone. I didn't grow up reading picture books because, you know, by the time I was uh, seven or eight, uh, I started reading at 10. I, I, I didn't, I skipped this part. But alhamdulillah, I rediscovered it when I was a parent. I love picture books. Any subject that I have to introduce to my kids, picture books is where I start because it is concise, it is small, and it is very approachable for kids. So it is a very difficult thing to do. But when you do it well, it is very rewarding. Okay, thank you. Um, have you ever experienced the writer's block? How did you deal with that? Um, yes, a writer's block, very, all the time, all the time. Every day you doubt yourself, you're like, how can I continue? It's not making sense. Um, I don't think I can do this anymore. Um, a lot of times I do, um, but being a writer is not, it's, it's not something that you just do when you have an idea. You have to be like any other profession, you do it, you have to have a routine, you have to continuously write. Um, a lot of times I write something and I'm like, it's really bad. And a lot of times I say this is really great and then my agent says it's really bad. So it is that continuous coming back, it takes a lot of courage because sometimes um, you get discouraged a lot. It's very competitive, it's very hard to get into, um, and it is also very scary because uh, you write something and it's out there for the world. People can have opinions, uh, some people can say it's amazing, some other people would say this is absolute garbage. So you have to have a, uh, you have to be really uh, passionate, but you also have to be very disciplined. Okay, do you have plans to write books beyond children's books? Um, inshallah, I, I, I want to write uh, for older uh, children, uh, for um, graphic uh, novels, inshallah, other things, but it is uh, anytime you master something, it is now 
I have to conquer my fear to say I can do the next thing. So inshallah, I do hope to write for older children, and then I hope to write for uh, also adults as well. Inshallah, I would love to write a novel one day. That's good. Uh, do you come up? Yes, so Dear Muslim Child is coming up uh, in, um, in February, and I, I hope that they can have mass distribution um, in, in, uh, over here as well. I would love for you guys to have access to it also here. Thank you, Rahma. Uh, thank you so much. Saab, I to know. Rahma, thank you.